So this morning started out just like any other morning. Set my destination filter, hoping to get a nice long ride on the way into the office like I typically do. I greet my passenger, and then as you'll see here, I ask the question that nearly every driver asks a passenger when they get in the car. How you doing this morning? How are you doing this morning? Or how you doing today? We ask our passengers that. It's kind of an icebreaker, gets the conversation going, and it is very important because it helps us set the tone for the ride. Depending on the person's response, you're going to decide whether or not to have an extended conversation with this person or just let them disappear into their smartphone. And here we go. He lets me know how his morning's going. I just was at the hospital. Oh. And uh, I told him that I was concerned about a parasitic infection. Uh huh. So it's at this point I'm thinking, am I going to have to pull over and let this guy out of the car? Am I going to get a parasitic infection? Is the guy just crazy? I don't know. Lots of things are going through my head right about now. And, you know, I'm thinking, okay, this is just going to be one of those rides. Uh, living within my mouth. Um, Take the next left onto me, West Avenue. After I waited for eight hours, that um, I didn't on have West one. Avenue for half a and mile. I said, well, wait a second. How do you even online. know that? You, are on the fastest uh, you haven't done any tests. How do you have any clue? And he said, well, I just know that you don't have one. I said, but how? You, you can't see parasites. That's why they're parasites. You can't see them with the naked eye. Hmm. So you're looking at me and you haven't done any tests and you're telling me that that isn't happening and he said yeah that's what i'm telling you i said all right yeah th thanks a lot oh. i walked out i um went over here and i um i smoked a cigarette and i uh I spit on the ground um and sure enough there inside of the spit there's little worms moving around oh wow now if you'll recall Earlier, this passenger said, you can't see parasites. And now he's saying, I spit on the ground and there were worms in my spit. Okay, so which is it? A little bit of Googling and you'll find that actually you can see parasites, although 70% of them are invisible. I would think that if a dude actually had worms in his mouth, the hospital would have noticed that. I would also think that maybe he spit on the ground and there just happened to be some little worms on the ground where he spit. I don't know. I'll tell you what I'm not doing, though. I am not disagreeing with a guy who gets in your car and says he's got worms in his mouth because you just have no idea where that ride is going to go. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm not doing so well. Oh, oh sorry to hear that. I don't know you or anything. Well, doctors could have done something. <laughs> sure. Next left on the what had happened, they got swamped, and I was in the waiting room for six and a half hours. Then they finally had a bed open up, and the guy had probably been dealing with um, coronavirus infections, God knows what else, uh, you know, car crashes, yeah. and things of that nature coming in, and here I am coming in with something that I'm telling him is a parasitic infection, and he decided to tell me this is an emergency room. I 
it's a no, it's actually a place that people come to for help. That's what a hospital is supposed to be for. When you can't sleep and you're completely fatigued all the time and you think something is crawling around in your mouth and you ask a doctor for help, the doctor's supposed to help. And I left. Well, maybe he thought you were just trying to come in and get ivermectin or something like that. You know? Oh, what, you mean for like COVID? Thing? Yeah. So I'm going to stop it right here, folks. We had a conversation about another five minutes about the hospital and maybe what they were doing and things like that. And turned out the guy's a pretty nice dude. And I can't blame him. If he hasn't been sleeping and he's been up for several hours, it probably did feel like something was in his mouth. I know that when I don't sleep, I start feeling really weird things myself. But it's kind of interesting how people think because, think about this, if the things are so small that you can't see them, how would you also feel them in your mouth? And what does it feel like to have worms in your mouth? I mean, I'm kind of shivering right now just thinking about it. That's going to do it for this video, Gig Friends. That's what I'm calling you guys now, Gig Friends. If you want to help me produce more videos like this, there's a couple of things you can do. First, you can like and comment on this video because, number one, I mentioned something in the video that's probably going to get it flagged. And number two, um, I'm not monetized yet. And even if I do get monetized because the awesome Bee Gees were playing on the radio, I wouldn't be able to monetize this video anyway. So there's going to be a link to my Venmo in the description if you're so inclined and would like to support videos like this, I would appreciate your help. And who knows, maybe, just maybe, I might have worms in my mouth.